Oh, we're about to cook. She put on our music. Oh, this looks. Oh. There, there is nothing that I can read here. Hey y'all, I'm Tasha Monet and I am back with another video. Today we are continuing Vimba, which we started recently. I've really been enjoying the story so far and I'm excited to see where it goes. So let's go ahead and get started. Those fallen from their resolve are stripped of respect like here fallen from the head, 1995. Why do I feel like I've done this already? Go on. Or maybe I haven't. Tell her. His name is Pavlan. He's my dad. P A A V A L A A O N. Y'all, I don't know why I thought that said an A. Um, I promise I know my letters. Maybe. She says Appa is not at the office. Does she know what time he left? Do you know when my dad left the office? So if you're not familiar with this story, mom uh, doesn't speak English, or at least not well. And so this is her son who was born in Canada and he's translating for her right now. Okay, well, does she at least know if he came in today? Did you see my dad today? Ask her if he usually leaves with anybody. Maybe we can call them? Does he usually go home with someone? She says no, dad usually leaves alone and he's very quiet. She says all the sales staff left at 5 p.m. today. She says he must have left then too. Okay, thank you. Where is dad? And I just have to say again, I really do love this art style. I think it is so beautiful. And like the ambiance and everything that you hear as the game is going. Why are we walking through the park, Ama? Do you think Appa will be here? I don't know, Gana. Sometimes your Appa likes to walk instead of taking the bus. If he decided to walk home from the office, it should be through here. But the lady said Appa left at five. What's taking him so long? Do you think he went somewhere else first? But where would he go for this long? I don't know, Kavan. Enough with your questions. That probably says Kevin. I don't even know how to say it. Sorry, Gana. I'm just worried about Appa. Why are you worried? Do you think something happened to him? No, no. I'm sure he's fine. You don't have to stay quiet, Kevin. Here, you can ask me anything you want. Anything? Yes, and I'll answer it. But, only if you can ask it in Tamir. Okay? Ooh, okay, I can do that. Ahem. <clears throat> okay? Okay, I can do that. Why did that lady say that Appa is very quiet? He talks a lot at home. Oh, look at you go. See, you can speak Tamil when you want to. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's that they don't talk to him. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. He doesn't really like his job, Kevin. Maybe that's why. He was a writer back home, right? Did he like his job then? Oh, yes. He loved to write. How come I never see him write at home? Well, he always writes when something bothers him. Back home, that used to be every day. 
maybe you should bug him more. Okay, let's ask her what she did back home. Same as here, I was a teacher. And not just a supply teacher, I taught math for 9th through 12th standard. Were you a cool teacher? What's a cool teacher? Fun and easygoing. Like, were the kids scared of you? Only kids named Kevin. <laughs> I don't know, I like to think I was good at it. My classes were always fun for the students. Though, I don't think I'm a cool teacher here. I miss those days. But you teach here too. It's not the same. Why not? I don't know. I think one thing that I really, really enjoy about this story is that it um, highlights the immigrant experience and it, it's so beautiful and so heartwarming and I just really like it. It's just not. Unless that's why they moved here, because it seems like things were bad. It wasn't an easy choice. Pablon wanted to be with me, and I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. But a lot of people took issue with us being together, and they decided to make it our problem. It was getting really hard to deal with it, so we gambled on a fresh start here and took it. Ama, I see Appa. Why is she making that face? She has me very worried. Vinba, what's going on? She's hurrying up. She's going faster. What, what is happening? Oh, his glasses. His briefcase? Oh no. Is that a sick? What is he smoking? Oh. Did somebody attack him? It's a very emotional way to, to, to start this. Remember, she said he only writes when something's bothering him and he's writing now. Oh, wow. Nothing, no matter how dear, should be sought at the expense of one's honor. 2006. Oh, look at Kevin. He's grown up. Look at Vimba and Pavlon. Okay, I just finished cutting up the onions too. I think you should have everything you need. Yes, thanks, Pa. I'll go help Gavin pack. Oh, is he going to university? Where is he going? Oh, she's sad. Oh, we're about to cook. She put on our music. Oh, this looks... Oh. There, there is nothing that I can read here. Okay, this recipe is completely unreadable. Layered biryani is really fancy. I've never made it that way before. But I've seen Amma make it the night before we left India. Maybe I can try remembering them. Okay, I am so confused. Now the beef goes in after we add all the salt and powders. That order is important. So the salt and powders need to go after the beef. Okay, then add water and let it reduce. Ah, 
how am I going to remember all of this? Don't worry, I've added all these instructions to the recipe book I gave you. Yeah, but I don't, I, I don't remember. Okay, so this marinated beef goes in after all of the... I'm, I'm already lost. There's a logic to the order you add all these four ingredients in. So there's four of what? You want all of them to fry in the oil nicely, but the ingredient you add first will always fry more in the oil than the one you add next. Right, so if I want onions to turn golden brown, they need to be the be fried the most. And remember, once you add tomatoes, they release so much water, it's hard for anything to fry after. So tomatoes need to go last. Okay, and then this. Remember, add all these first. These ingredients, so expensive. Ama, why are you going through all of this trouble? It's okay, Dee. It's a big thing to leave to another country. I don't know when I'll be able to cook for you again. Yeah, but what are these? Okay, so this stuff needs to be added first. This is water. This goes in after. So the salt and this go in for... Um, wait. Let's go back to the beef to see what she said because she said something. She said, now the beef goes in after we add all the salt and powder. So we're going to add the, 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 the thing at the top first, then the salt and powders. Um, then add water and let it reduce. Okay. So this first. Um, this, powder, powder, I, yeah, I, that's definitely wrong, let's try again, so, this, do, paste, onions, Okay, so not that either. Maybe that's last? Y'all, I don't know what I'm doing. If you know how to make this and you are so frustrated with me, I am so sorry, but... Eventually. Yeah, but what... What are these? Oh, I didn't see these down here. Hello, me? You would lose your mind over these prices. Okay, so I add those. Wait, so then do these go next? Um, this is probably no. Okay, so tomatoes go in last. Okay, so I... You went through a lot of trouble for the recipe book, Emma. I'm sorry I couldn't take better care of it. But I'm fixing these now and I hope Kevin can appreciate it when he cooks these. If he ever does. So... Is it all of these nuts? And then the beef? And then the water? Oh my goodness. I can't believe I figured it out, y'all. I was struggling. Uh, this smells divine. I think we just need to let it simmer for 30 minutes and we can start the layering. That wasn't the layering? Oh my god. Oh my god. Gravy is done. Oh, I only made the gravy. Oh, snap. All that's left is the biryani. I hope I can finish it before Kevin leaves. Oh, she's so sad about her baby leaving. Oh, snap. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. Okay, so we have one, two, one, two, three. 
Okay, so once the off snap, how am I supposed to know what is what? I think the idea is to put everything in the pot, seal tightly, and let it simmer together. The one, two, three might refer to the different layers of gravy, rice, and other things, but in what order? Maybe I can try to remember. Ah, I see. We just add all of these together on top of the rice layer. And that's the final layer? Yes. What's wrong, Amma? Oh, Amma, why are you crying? You know we'll visit often, and once things are better, we'll come back here. This is our home. Where else will we go? I know, Gana. It's just so far away. Wait, I need to look at what they said, what she said again. So she said, add all of these together on top of the rice layer. Okay, so let me look at this. Okay, so there's one, two, one, two, and then there's three. So I'm assuming two is a rice layer. So it's something rice, something rice, and then whatever was last. But I don't remember what that is. Um, so what if I just start adding stuff? Nope. Nope, this is all wrong. Okay, so that's bay leaves, fried onions, and something else over rice. So, what is this for? Can I, can I put, so, okay, so these are all one-time ingredients, so these all go on the top, so let's do one, two, why can't I grab this again, hello, lord, uh, so, we do one, so that's a one-time thing. I'm so confused. What do I need to do with it? Can I put this in here? Can I put this in here? Can I put this in here? What do I do with this? Oh. Why did I do that? Oh, wait. Does this go here? This here? This here. Wait, did I just figure it out? Y'all, is this how I'm supposed to do it? I have no idea, but I think this is right. You know, I would have never thought to do, I don't know what made me decide to do that, but I just like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and try it. I just have to cover it with the lid now. Okay, so let's take the lid. Okay, I think this is it. Just need to keep the flame very low and let it all cook together. The rice will fully absorb all the moisture from the gravy, deeply flavoring it. I can't wait. I would love to actually try this. Should be good now. Looks amazing. Y'all, I cannot believe I struggled so hard with that. So hard. Oh, I love the detail that they added, like his glasses being fixed like that. That's so great. Oh, this looks amazing. Vimba, you better go ahead. How is it? Oh, so good. Beef really is the best. Oh, it's really good, Ama. I'm glad. I won't get many chances to cook for you like this again. Ah, Ama. Stop being so dramatic. I'm just moving out for university. 
Yes, Kana, but we'll miss you. Have you packed everything? It's a long drive. We might have to get gas on the way. Oh, as it turns out, my friends are driving there today after all. So I'll be going with them. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be so sad. Oh. This way, you and Appa won't have to drive all day. Let's see here. I was looking forward to the drive. We could all spend some time together before we send you off. It's not a hassle at all for us to drive you. We'd love to. And she loves you. Last chance for us to annoy you with unsolicited advice. Aw, oh, Mama, that would be nice. But I think it's just easier this way. So I can't really tell if it's like him just being considerate or he really just doesn't want to hang out with his parents. Like I can't, I can't put my finger on it. You can always annoy me another time. I wonder if the, 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 the difference in his, um, speech bubbles, like they're, they kind of have like stains and things on it. Like I wonder... I wonder why it's like that now because it wasn't before. Okay, Kana. Sure. Did I even get any of the meat pieces? <laughs> Pavlov. For real? Ah, uh, maybe we can drive there next week. Drop off some food. Oh, I almost forgot. Will your friend's car have enough space for some containers? I don't know. Why? I've packed a lot more of the biryani. I also packed some bodies, pickles, and sweets. Did she give all the pieces together? This is hilarious. He is not even paying attention to this conversation. He is worried about the beef. So where's the meat? Amma, I can't take that in the car. Why not? I packed for your friends too. You can all eat. Amma, they don't want biryani. And the whole car will smell. I don't want them in my dorm either. You don't want any of it? Heaven, I put a lot of effort into making all of it this week. I didn't ask you to. Why are you getting mad? I know you didn't ask. But what will you even eat there? I don't know. There are cafeterias, instant noodles, whatever. I'll figure it out. I can't believe she gave him all the pieces. I'm just eating Puska here. That's not healthy, Callum. You can't eat out every day. Literally everyone there will be doing that. I'm just trying to be helpful. Well, you're not. So I, I think one of the things that the story is hitting on is actually hitting me in my feels right now is just like the divide that happens between like immigrant parents and their child who was born in a different um, country and like growing up and like between two worlds I guess you can say like and I mean granted this can happen to like any parent regardless of this but I think it, it's a bit different with immigrant parents uh because of not completely understanding um things that are also happening and like Vimba is just trying to do what she thinks is best for her son and I think he's getting angry because he feels smothered um, maybe he's a bit embarrassed. I'm not exactly certain, but I guess we'll see. Why don't you just take some of it? You don't have to eat it. I said no. I'm a, first of all, who is you speaking to? I'm done with this. And who are you? This is a fresh start for me. I don't want to smell like little India anymore. So I feel like that being in quotes is what people used to call him. Um in the last time that I played there was um a part where Vimba said that he doesn't eat his um food for lunch um at school when he was in like kindergarten he brings it back every day with some excuse I don't know if the other kids make fun of him for it or if he's embarrassed I don't know I'm worried and I feel like that may be some of the animosity he's feeling toward his mom right now I just want to be normal for once. Oh, Bimba. Kana, 
The language you speak, the food you eat, the clothes you wear, only you should decide that, Kevin. You don't have to change who you are for us, but just be sure you're not changing who you are for anyone else either. There's a wonderful and beautiful culture that's a part of you. It would be a shame if you chose not to be a part of it, just because you think it's not normal. Then why did we even move here? We should have just stayed in India. First of all, you were not born there. You were born here. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. He's obviously going through something and that does not absolve him of yelling at his mom like that. But it's definitely understandable like what he's going through because like he's also dealing with like this as well. It's just... There's no need to create a fuss over any of this. It's not like you're never going to see me again. I'll visit often, okay? Okay. And I'll call every week too. I'm sorry, but I completely feel Vimba. Like, if my son were about to leave me, like, I would be devastated. And he knows this too. He's likely editing this video right now. And I'm fairly certain he knows how I would feel in this situation. Love you, mijo. So please try not to worry. Okay? Okay. This is so sad. Oh my gosh. Is that them? Yes, I think so. Who is that girl? I've never seen her before. Smart kid. This is why he didn't want us to drive him. Chip off the old block. There he goes. I suppose it's good that he's so independent and makes his own choices, even if they are so incorrect. Our choices were mostly made for us already. Whatever he chooses, at least it'll be his own decision. We just have to wait patiently for him to come back to us. Until then, it's just the two of us again, huh? Just like old times. I'm sorry, but I am definitely team Vimba on this. I wish my son, uh, I wish my son would. That's all. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? We are unable to offer you, oh, I missed it, but it was another, um, one, I think, where she was rejected for a position. Oh, did Kevin reach the university? Did he text or call yet? No. But we told him to text or call when he gets there, right? Yes. Well, maybe he hasn't got... Oh, he has. I kept waiting and got worried, so I finally called him. He just said he forgot to inform us and hurried to hang up. Ah, uh, well, it's a big day after all. I'm sure he has a lot going on there. Oh, sure. Let your son do as he likes. I'm not going to bother anymore. This is sad because he doesn't want to eat what we make. He doesn't want to speak in Tamil. He doesn't even want the name we gave him. I'm done chasing after him. This is actually hitting me and my feels for a number of reasons. Like being a parent, particularly of a grown child, is so tough because you just, you, you want the best for them you want them to go and live life but you also don't want them to leave you um and i really feel what bimba is feeling right now like i almost feel like i might cry because this is just so sad i feel so sorry for what's going on right now because it's a difficult situation to be in yes you're right oh wait he forgot his headphones in his room. I was going to bring it to him sometime next week, but maybe we should just let him pick it up whenever he's here next. Oh, he did? Of course not, Pavlan. We should help if we can. He uses those headphones all the time. It'll be hard for him without that. And see here, one of the things that I appreciate that the gang 
developers did is they really tuned in to what it's like being a mom like you can be so upset with your child but the moment you realize that they need you like that upset just like goes out the window like you're well it doesn't necessarily leave but you put it aside because you know your child needs you what oh you made that up is there anything more fleeting than your anger towards Kevin? That's what being a parent is, I suppose. He said exactly what I was just saying. When Kevin said he wants to pursue writing, I was so happy. Finally, something we have in common. I wanted to show him all the works that inspired me and all the poems and stories that I love. And the ones you wrote, too. All the stories you read, read to him as a child were just ones you wrote on the spot. Yes, but I doubt he even remembers that. I don't even know if he can read Tamil literature, much less understand it. I used to wonder why he wanted to turn his back on all the unique and special things his roots have to offer. But after that night in the park... Maybe he's thinking it's better not to be unique or stand out in any way. And I don't think we can blame him for that. I guess it wasn't the best decision to move. I don't get to write here. You don't get to teach here. It's hard for Kevin to be who he really wants to be here. Maybe you should have stayed. If you're going to suggest I would have been better off not moving here with you, my anger is going to be anything but fleeting. But come on, I know how much you miss home. Wouldn't you be happier back there? If I felt like I didn't have anyone, then yes, maybe I'd be happier there. But I have Calvin, and I have you. Home is where you two are. That's so sweet. I love them and their story. Okay, y'all, so I'm actually going to stop this one here just because I don't want my videos to be too long at the moment and also because it's definitely a struggle for me right now with talking um, and things like that. So I do hope that you enjoyed this playthrough of them, but we probably only have one more episode or two of this playthrough left. Um, please let me know if you played this, if you've enjoyed this, how the puzzles went for you. Um, and if you are the parent of uh, an immigrant or um, the child of an immigrant or whatever it may be, like, does this story ring true for you? Um, this story definitely has some things that just hit me really close to home and I'm just really enjoying it. And I love that the developers did what they did with this story so far but anyway if you enjoyed this playthrough so far please make sure that you like comment and subscribe if you would like to see me do other things make sure that you check out my channel as always i'm sending positive vibes your way i'm tasha monet see you next time Keep singing your